Well, folks, it's finally that time, the final moments of the Olympic soccer. Yes, I'm crying, you're crying too. Now, before I do begin, yes, I'm in my, well, used to be bad for those older viewers that used to watch, I guess, when it was last year, but yeah, I'm in my old bed, don't ask why, but that's beside the point. Let's just get started, which our first game was Japan versus Mexico. Now in the 10th minute, Vega gets fouled and is given a penalty, but VAR is, was there to check and it stands and Cordoba takes it and scores. Then in the 21st minute, Vasquez scores from a free kick after the ball passes through Martin's header. But then Japan did have chances in the 24th and 51st minute. Then in the 57th minute, Alexis Vega scores a brilliant header from a corner to extend Mexico's lead to three goals. I honestly feel bad for Japan to be honest. Like, yeah, you could tell it was over after that. But in uh, the 77th minute, Itoma uh, beats Ochoa and scores Japan's first goal of the game. But I mean, like I said, it's already too late. And like I said, uh, I've been saying that too many times. But anyways, Mexico, hold on to win the bronze medal. Good job, Mexico. But I honestly feel bad for Japan. Oh, man. They were so good in tournament. And then this one. It's, oh, man. Feel bad for them. Then our next game was the gold medal and it was the final which was Brazil versus Spain. Now in the 35th minute there was a nasty collision with the Spanish goalkeeper as he tried to punch the ball away but he fails and that results in a penalty after VAR reviews it and it is Rich Arlson to take it but when he does take it he misses and his shot uh, makes the ball go over the crossbar and he misses then in the first minute of stoppage time Cunha scores for Brazil after Danny Alves saves the ball from turning it into a goal kick and Brazil are the first one to take the lead in the game then in the 51st minute Rich Olsen gets a huge chance as he's onside and he's with I mean there's like defenders but he fools a defender and it's just I guess a 1v1 situation with the goalkeeper but uh, the Spanish goalkeeper barely saves it and the shot uh, unfortunately hits the crossbar and Rich Arson misses a penalty and a huge chance it's not his night but I don't see for that for him in the an hour mark in the 60th minute uh, Oriatha ball uh, scores a blast to tie it up and what a great pass across the field from Solar and Spain tie it up. And after the 90 minutes, it is leveled and it goes to extra time. And then in the 107th minute, Spain gets a corner and they take it. But unfortunately, the shot is headed away and that results in uh, Brazil to counterattack. And it is successful as Malcolm scores as his kick is deflected from the Spanish goalkeeper's leg and it is a goal and Brazil do take the lead and that is it and Brazil do hold on and Brazil win back to back medals for the first time since 2004 and 2008 with Argentina good job Brazil honestly I kind of did want Spain to win like I heard Predri played a lot of minutes this summer for Petri just for a silver and a semi-finals loss to Italy it's okay though but yeah guys that's about it for our Olympic soccer yeah, I know it's sad but you know what that is it for our nation's uh, cover here at it's Jason it's short yes I know but it's okay guys anyways guys that's about it for me uh, yeah hope you guys do like and subscribe please do it if you do it then i'm happy okay so anyways that's about it for 2020 tokyo olympics i might do the 2022 beijing olympics i don't know looking for a sport to do it maybe hockey because uh that's like the only interesting sport in that winter olympics but anyways folks join me in the 2024 uh 
Olympics in Paris as Belize will be the future champions there. Okay, just like, subscribe, bye.